Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I'm here to share the latest word from Julie Wedby. The title is Behold, I Come Quickly. And this word was posted April 7th, 2024. Behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give to each man according to what he has done. Revelation 22, verse 12. When Father first called me to publicly share his word with all who have ears to hear back in 2012, he gave me the above verse and told me to title this site with the beginning of the verse, Behold, I Come. It is now 12 years later, and the number 12 in Hebrew represents kingdom. He once again has told me to share this verse, as I and many others prepare to enter our new season and our new assignments. I have asked Father for a couple of weeks now, if there is anything he wanted to share with us concerning the solar eclipse on April 8, 2024, in the USA. And this is what he shared with me during my prayer time. This was received April 7, 2024. And I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before that great and notable day of the Lord comes. Acts 2.19 and 20 I am coming, and I will not keep silent. I will show myself in signs and wonders that cannot be denied. Does my word not say that the sun will become dark and the moon turn to blood? before the great and terrible day of the Lord? My words to repent have been given for many years now. The season is here for recompense now, as I separate the wheat from the chaff. Can you feel me? Can you sense me riding on the winds that are blowing? Is my spirit stirring within your heart like never before? Do you hear the sounds of my horses and the thunder of their feet as I approach? What was once a whisper in your spirit is now the roar of my voice welling up inside of you. Hear me now. You are loved. You are chosen. You are one of a kind and fashioned in my image and made for such a time as this. Arise. Arise, my beloved, for your groom wishes to wed his bride. From before time was, I created you in my heart, and I knew you. Then I breathed life into you at your conception, and I caused a decree to go forth. This one is mine, this soul have I loved, and this soul is cherished and set apart, as beautiful and holy unto me. This soul will walk with me and commune with me and enter into covenant with me through the sacrifice of my life and my shed blood. Because I rose again to new life, you will rise to new life. The old garments will be traded for fine new linens of righteousness as they become garments of salvation. Your former sins that were as scarlet are made white as the snow, as you are washed with hyssop and perfected through obedience. No more will you be called an outcast, no more will you feel unworthy, for I have made you worthy. No more will you wait for the fulfillment of all my promises. I have refined you by fire, by suffering, and by affliction. You called me, and I have heard you. Through it all, you have overcome. You have sanctified, consecrated, and surrendered all to me, and it is time for you to come back through the veil, home to the tree of life, which will heal nations, and where you will hear the words, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful in the small things. Now 
I will make you to rule over many things. Enter into the joy of the Lord. I open the floodgates of my kingdom for you as my heirs, my sons and daughters, and my priests. Your testimony will change nations. You will go out in joy and peace, and the mountains and hills will burst into song before you. All the trees of the fields will clap their hands at the cry of your heart, saying, Holy, holy, holy is the Lamb that was slain, for you will be heard far and wide. Every knee will bow, and every tongue will confess that I am that I am. I am the Lord of hosts, and you are my jewels, the shining ones, and my ambassadors of light. My love will pour through you and flood the earth like never before. As I anointed you in your baptism of fire, I will now anoint you once more with my all-consuming fire as we merge our hearts in full consumption, as I, your bridegroom, wed my bride. I have kept your precious heart in my capable hands and held you tightly along this journey. I have been with you through every single hardship, sorrow, hurt and betrayal, pain and suffering, never letting you go. I have never left you, and I have cried tears with you in your heartache in this realm. But now, my loves, now I will come to reward you and pour new wine into new wineskins. I will make all things new, and I will give you beauty for ashes. You will be called a tree of righteousness, and you will dance and sing with great joy, for your day has come. The desires I have placed within you as my desires will now become reality. I will not labor you without causing you to give birth, so rejoice. This stained garment of flesh shall become a fine robe of righteousness, and you will receive your new name. Your robe is unique to you alone, comprised of the journey into intimacy that you and I have shared together in this life. I have woven into this garment all of your successes and your triumphs, all of your victories over a sinful life. It is made of the uniqueness of our journey together, and every fiber is precious and fashioned by me, a holy robe to adorn you as my own. The name you receive is a name I have for you alone. It is my new name. It is the name of the city of my Father, and it is a name to honor you for your obedience to me. It is a name that resonates with the frequency of our relationship. I will call you by your new name, for you are my treasure, and you are loved beyond measure. Prepare to see my face. Prepare to come back into the arms of your Mashiach, your king, your groom. Prepare for home. You will never tire of looking into my eyes. You will never stop growing deeper and deeper into love with me. As you journey further and further into my heart for all eternity, I have so much to show you, so much to reveal to you. Continue to worship me as you have been doing and ready your hearts. My signs are everywhere. I have called and I have warned. I have given many many opportunities for all to come to me. But you, my beloved, have heard my cries for fellowship with me and intimacy and have come to me. You will assist me in bringing in the larger harvest and then your purpose will be fulfilled. The feast is prepared and many saints await you. You will sup with me and there will be such celebration. There will be a homecoming that will exceed your utmost imagination as we come together to usher in a new day. I love you, my beautiful ones. I love you.
Yahushua. And that is the end of this message. I pray you all have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you. And I will see you either next video or in the air. Bye-bye.